everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs if you guys are interested in any of the private uh, if you guys are interested in any private consultations or any of the services that I provide definitely look at the description box below sorry I got there a little bit tongue-tied <laughs> this is going to be for Sagittarius moon Sun and rising for the month of October 2017 okay so let's get into your reading, uh, Sagittarius. You have two cards that popped out already, which is the Page of Wands and the Eight of Coins. All right. You have the Strength card, the Ten of Cups. It's funny because before I started recording, I was shuffling the cards, and the Ten uh, came out twice, uh, and it's coming out again. So obviously that card is wanting to speak to you, Sagittarius. Okay, you have the Seven of Wands, the Empress card, the Nine of Swords, the King of Cups, the Lover's card, the Emperor card, the Ten of Pentacles, or the Ten of Coins, and the Moon card. Interesting. All right, for your monthly general energies, wow, okay. So your general energies for the month of October, Sagittarius, is the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups has to do with partnerships. Uh, partnerships is going to be very important for you for the month of October. It could be partnerships in regards to relationships or in regards to business and finances. Um, so with the page, of, the page of Wands, you're starting off the month uh, with a lot of communication coming back and forth. For some of you guys, maybe you guys are trying to get a job. You're definitely going to be hearing back from an interview, or if you apply, you're definitely going to be called be called for an interview, uh, because the page definitely talks about bringing a message, and it's a good positive message for you. The Eight of Coins definitely talks about work um, and putting effort towards. Again, if you guys are have been unemployed for quite a while, uh, there's definitely going to get you're definitely going to be getting feedback by the month of October, uh, the beginning for I would say first week or second week of October. Uh, things are going to start to move for you guys. Now, you do have the strength card here. The strength card, you may be dealing with the Leo person. Uh, this person is actually uh, tied to the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups has to do with emotional fulfillment, but also it speaks a lot about family and living or the fam family type of dynamic. You have the Seven of Wands here. The Seven of Wands is talking about feeling a little bit guarded in regards to your emotions you do have the empress card here and next to the empress is the nine of swords so i feel like for some of you guys maybe you feel restricted maybe you feel like <sighs> for some of you guys you may be dealing with two people uh, i believe this came out in the last reading um and i definitely still see this type of energy here you do have the king of cups here but you also have the emperor the emperor could be a father figure or it could be a person that takes on the qualities or attributes of that of a father figure. Someone that is very, um, the emperor is all about uh, having stability. Uh, the household, again, like I said, if you're married, this could be representing your partner. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. Um but the king of cups i feel this is a third type of energy a third party energy the, the king of cups could be a water sign so it would be a pisces a cancer or scorpio just or just the attributes of the king of cups and the king of cups is a person that is very very in control of their emotions but they're also very compassionate very understanding the nine of swords definitely talks about um anxiety so you're having anxiety because you're going into the second week um by the middle of the month you're going into uh into the month looking with looking towards the nine of swords so there's going to be a lot of mental anxiety stress uh perhaps having to do with this king of cups now for some of you guys you may be dealing with a family type of dynamic uh so it could be that your partner's family is around you for the month of october or relatives from a distance come and visit uh, I feel that this Nine of Swords, that's what this anxiety is about. So it's like you're, you feel that either you're being watched, um, whether it's positive or negative, regardless, you still have this anxiety or this fear. Um, and it probably has to do, again, like I said, from people coming from afar, coming to visit. So just know and understand that ultimately at the end of the day, try to be who you are. Don't try to change who you are. 
um, they either like that or they don't. Regardless, that's not your problem. It's their problem, even if it is uh, family members, okay? Now, you do end up at the end of the month here with the lover's card. And the lover's card is looking towards the emperor. So you're, you're needing stability when it comes to love and relationships. What I mean by stability is you have the ten of cups here that has to do with family dynamic uh, and also emotional fulfillment. But there, you're being guarded. It's like you have feelings for someone, but you're not speaking or you're not out in the open about it. Perhaps some of you guys, you currently ended a relationship that was of a long-term uh, relationship. And you've been talking to someone and you're starting to grow feelings for them, which is why the Two of Cups is coming out in your general energy. But maybe you feel restricted. You feel like you can't be out in the open about it because maybe it's too quick, it's too soon. Uh, maybe the family dynamic has to do with you feeling like you're responsible um, to not put it out in the open because if you do, maybe relatives or family members may get involved or may be uh, disappointed in a way of you. Um, and again, I feel that it, there's like this type of energy where let's keep it hidden or let's not be out and open about it because you feel you may hurt someone else's feelings. Now, this could be interpreted in different ways. For some of you guys, you are actually dealing with another fire sign, but this fire sign is someone that you have built a relationship with to at this point, you guys are friends. And perhaps you recently found out that this person actually cares about you in a different way, that they genuinely have feelings for you. And you've been talking to another person um, and perhaps you feel like you can, not again, like I said, come out in the open about this relationship. There's something hidden about this relationship with the lover's card uh, that's keeping you like you can't, you can't put it out in the open, but you also feel stuck, like you can't move on. So again, it could be tied to the past relationships, uh, not being able to come out in the open about this new relationship, or it could just be mental anxiety, uh, mental anxiety for bringing this person around your family. There's definitely some type of dynamic between the family and keeping something hidden or hush-hush when it regards to relationships. Now, by the end of the month, you're definitely going to be, you're going to be making a choice. And this choice has to do with this card of the lover's card, but also the emperor. You're going to be able to finally either commit to a person or decide this is the person I want to be and move forward with that. The reason I say that is because you do have the ten. So you go from the emperor, the emperor is walking towards this ten of pentacles. So the ten of pentacles is actually the materialization, the uh, manifestation or the speaking my truth, this is the person I want to be and moving forward with that. Now you do have the moon card here, so that's the reason why I'm saying third party energies, because I definitely do feel that there is a person you may be dealing with as well, so this could be a, a water sign, like I said, uh, this person may actually be committed, and that's the reason why they're not wanting to be open about the relationship or connection with you. Uh, the reason I say that is because uh, the Ten of Cups is crowning the king, and then under the king is the moon card. So there's hidden agenda. There's something going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. So be very careful about that, Sagittarius, okay? Let me get some clarity for this King of Cups. Give me one second. Okay, so I wanted to get clarity with this King of Cups and the Knight of Coins came out. So again, there's definitely communication coming in from this water sign that has he's he or she has been hiding something from you. But by the end of the month of October, that's going to come out to light. You're going to get clarity in regards to this situation. And again, like I said, I feel that someone is definitely attached. So it's either you, Sagittarius, or the person that you're dealing with that may be attached because the Ten of Cups is crowning this king and also the Ten of Pentacles. So practicalities and emotional attachments, okay? 
and family, obviously. So be very mindful and careful about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And uh, we will be seeing from each other by the middle of October for the lovers' readings. Okay? Bye.